Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Starr and you are watching 10 Minute Tutorials. This is a new series I'm doing where within 10 minutes I'm going to show you how easy it is to produce music nowadays. So to start off, we're going to set an alarm for 10 minutes from now so I know when to stop. And the reason I'm doing this is I saw an interview with Swiss Beats once where he was talking about how his average beat takes him about 10 minutes to make and Swiss Beats has made some platinum tracks uh, hits for DMX, Mariah Carey, Jay-Z and he's doing this in 10 minutes or less and getting paid a quarter of a million dollars to do it and the thing is is nowadays with the right tools and the uh, right files and everything it is very easy to do so we got 10 minutes started. To start off, I'm using Bitwig Studio. I personally prefer this. It just works best with my style of workflow, but you really have to try out all the DAWs and find out which one is best for you. So we're going to go and um, find a MIDI file. MIDI is Digital Computerized Notation. So let's see. Actually, first, let's go to the drums, because I have these uh, beats picked out. These are from the Vengeance set. They create a lot of different uh, EDM style beats. So first we're going to load in this filtered drum loop. We'll have it repeat twice. Then we have the same beat without the kick, because I believe the kick is missing from the first one. We'll double that. And then finally we'll bring in the full beat. Okay, and now we need to find a MIDI part to go over the top of that. So, let's check some out. Alright, let's go with that, nice and simple. So we can see here it didn't line up all the way, so there's going to be a bit of a gap. So we just got to stretch that outward, then repeat it. So we have... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this up here into contact where I know I have some arpeggiators. Load one up. I don't know what's creating all this static. I hope it doesn't show up on, on the uh, viewer's end of things. Bouncing things is always a quick and easy way in this program to uh, lessen the DSP, which is basically your RAM if it's having trouble processing everything going on. Another thing we can do is on this one, to help it build up, we're going to put a filter on it. All right, let's... We'll have it start later in the track. So with the filter, we're going to have it fade in so that you have
We'll even have the filter do the same on this. Grab a base. Normally, if my face wasn't covering this lower corner, I could just go and uh, and switch it the octave there. Let's put an arpeggiator on this now, so we have some note variation. Another thing we can do is Oh no. We're going to put some kicks in here. But instead of using the kick in the actual track, we're going to use it as a gate for this, for the side chaining. Change the attack. And this we're also going to switch so it doesn't turn on until, say, here. Or switch that around. See how that's it. Put that right here before this drop. You can even add a rise in. Drag that over there. Take this as our as our hook part.
cut that in half and double it. Maybe not. That's kind of dope. And there's 10 minutes right there. As you can see, we have the basis of our song. Simple, four parts, five parts, little added details. You can add some fills in. One effect that I have that I, I enjoy using a lot is Effectrix. Show, I'll show what Effectrix does. I'll put it on. Oh, it's on the polysynth. Switch two of the things in there. We even bring Effectrix onto our drums. turns off maybe we should even bring the filter drums back in here baseline And of course you can, you can do other things like reverb and stuff to kind of build the sounds. I add, add a delay onto this. Just kind of liven it up. And there you go, there's a the track in 10 minutes hear it again from the top.
take that off. Here we'll have to <coughs> switch the gate off. So. Start this from the top again. Add a little bit of a rise there. Now one nice thing I, I with those notes being a little bit off, I was able to just correct that. Uh, it corrects itself with the arpeggiator technically. Let's make sure these ones are all on. See that's all on. down a bit in the filtering right here. Again, this is where most of your time gets consumed with this little detail stuff. And there you go, the song in 10 minutes. We'll save this. Documents, Bitwig, Projects, 10 minute one. There we go, you have a beat, 10 minutes. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>